Welcome to Update News. Online. Despite the expectation of a revenue drop, Delaware's casinos are on pace to bring nearly $254 million to the state's coffers, about $37 million more than originally budgeted. Citing new casinos in nearby Pennsylvania and Maryland, Delaware officials predicted the state's three gambling venues would bring in $217 million this year. That figure is $20 million below the money generated in fiscal year 2010. However, the addition of table games last year and pro football betting in 2009 has brought in more money than anyone had anticipated, due primarily to the state's passing new taxes and licensing fees onto the casinos. Operators at Delaware Park, Dover Downs, and Harrington Raceway report that the new options for gambling are losing money. Despite the recession, Delaware's casinos revenue rose 1.5% in 2010, which was above the national average. In contrast, over the past four years, Atlantic City has lost nearly a third of its business and has experienced its fifth consecutive year of revenue decline. Casino revenue is the fourth largest source of money for Delaware, accounting for almost 9% of the state's tax revenue. In related news, the bid to add more casinos in the state has been defeated by the House Gaming and Paramutuals Committee in Dover. The 11-member panel voted 6-5 against State Representative Pete Schwarzkopf's bill, which would allow a casino to be built in both Newcastle and Sussex counties. This marks the third time that Schwarzkopf's bill has died in the committee. This is Update News.